This is our Thrain and Thrain Sailor Fleet Broadband 150 satellite phone system. We installed it on our boat in 2012 uh, for a sailing trip which ended up in Australia. Uh, it's been in storage for the last two years and we're really not going to use it now because we're UK based again. So hence it's for sale. So a number of components which I'll just take you through. The sat dome, uh, obviously. Uh, this comes with the additional extra of a pole mount, which is uh, is included in the deal. We then have the control box, which uh, connects uh, to uh, everything else. Um, in our boat, this was mounted in a dry locker down well down below, so corrosion free and in good condition. We then have the handset, uh, which was also mounted down below. Uh, which connects uh, to the uh, control box via this cable. We've got a LAN cable to allow you to connect up to a computer. Uh, that's uh, 4.5 meters long. We have a 9 meter long coaxial cable which connects from the control box to the sat dome itself. Uh, and then we have a power cable which can bolt, uh, connects to the 12 volt supply. It's got its original uh, handbooks quick start guides, a CD-ROM if you need it, uh, and the production certification documents as well. And it also comes in its original box. Also the back of the control box is the space for the SIM card, so uh, it's got a little slide out lock uh, here, and then there's the SIM card. Uh, uh, obviously this one is no longer operational. Um, and it's also worth saying if you're buying a second-hand sat phone or anything um, uh, electrical, electronic uh, that's been on a boat, it's worth checking that there's no corrosion on, on the ports. And as you can see here, this has been mounted in a dry locker, well away from any risk of uh, moisture. Uh, so it's all nice and clean and corrosion free. So this is just to show you that the whole system works. I've set up a 12 volt battery to supply and outside I've got the sat dome connected uh, and I've got it connected up to my uh, laptop as well. So the main control uh, box here, uh, the brains of the beast, has uh, four cables going to it. The first one is the power supply, the red is the LAN which is connected up to your computer, the black goes on to the handset and the uh, coax cable here connects to the sat dome, there's no other power supply to the sat dome. Uh, you can see there's a light on to show it's on and there's an on off switch here but you can remotely switch it from your main control panel on your boat right, if you mount the control box somewhere kind of safe and dry as we did in our boat. So the handset uh, is here and I'll hopefully get it so you can see uh, what it's showing. At the moment it's showing a, an error signal because clearly I haven't got a SIM in it that's uh, up to date but I'll still try and take you through uh, the, the controls. So it's saying here no satellite service uh, because we haven't registered it, uh, obviously having the boat off the boat. But I click on menu, uh, I can go down to um, contacts, uh, status, so if you've got phone numbers and so on you set those up. Uh, look at status for example, um, it'll tell you uh, information about your phone, network information and so on. The, uh, going back again, at the bottom there is BGAN, B -G -A -N, which is the satellite server system. Uh, and this is where uh, the one I, the screen I use the most. So if I go and select on that, this is where uh, once I've got ready to send an email or go on online, this is where I connect. So I press select connect and then at the bottom it says start and I press that and it would know it's then connected to the internet uh, allows me to send me emails and then as soon as I've finished I press stop the advantage of doing this way is you know that you've you've switched off the satellite system as soon as you've uh, decided that you've had enough because otherwise um, you uh, is in danger your computer might want to try and update its Windows system and steal all your data um, in terms of properties It'll tell you, for example, uh, information about the, uh, the type you've got there. And if I go back again, uh, status, 
able to give us an information that, uh, for example, it gives you the GPS position of the boat, uh, and then the fact that we haven't got a registered uh, SIM card, and uh, the fact that it's all otherwise okay. So the handset, uh, obviously you can use it to uh, use it as a phone system, so dialing the international code as well. Once you connect a computer up to the sat phone via the LAN cable, or you can go through something like a Redbox uh, remote Wi-Fi, uh, you find the connection through this uh, IP address, 192.168.0.1. And that brings up the Terrain and Terrain homepage. Uh, and this one, it gives you what's the this is the dashboard, so it will tell you uh, GPS position again. In fact, it's not currently not registered. Um, uh, automatic satellite uh, selection um, and so on. And it'll give you a bit of information about uh, amount of time spent on, on it and so on. Also on this homepage, you have uh, a selection for a phone book. So you can select um, pre or preset uh, phone numbers if you want them to. So uh, if you if you uh, are going to use lots of phone numbers, so you can have them all selected here. Um, it would also uh, allow you to send and receive texts. Uh, so it'll give you any new messages, uh, inbox, outbox, and so on. Um, so um, this is uh, useful, and it'll show it'll show you any missed uh, texts. Even if you ha if you receive a text whilst uh, the thing's switched off, it'll it'll still receive them. Uh, calls uh, it'll give you uh, information about uh, call logs and so on, um, and, and so on. So so uh, fairly easy to navigate your way around it. Um, uh, and clearly, once you've uh, connected up, um, you can then just open up uh, your email and, and send your emails or, or if you're prepared to spend the data you can uh, go on any particular uh, website you want to look at. Uh, you can also switch on the satellite uh, on from this screen as well so click on start standard and then it says do you want to start and you uh, obviously just uh, click on OK. So if you don't want to use the handset uh, you can do it all from your laptop um, it's up to you really. Condition wise it's all in perfect working order. Uh, on the sat dome there is a little bit of, uh, of um, corrosion around the aluminium base. It's fairly standard with these things but the seal is good and as you can see the dome is nice and shiny. The handset is in good order. Uh, the hand uh, set cable has some um, kind of uh, tape repairs to it. The, 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 the rubber seems to uh, not be coped very well with the UV, even so that was inside the cabin. Uh, you obviously can get a replacement cable, but it's all working fine. It's just been uh, repaired with self-amalgamating tape. And the, um, the main control box is uh, corrosion-free.